YouTube. In this gameplay, I'm going to be post calling one of my Madden 23 Ultimate Kickoff ladder matches. Trust me, guys. You guys are going to want to thug it out to the end. This game was fire. You see right here, this is a little while back. Forgive me on the late upload. I should have uploaded this last week, but I've been locked in the lab for this upcoming uh you know ultimate kickoff tournament is right here we are gonna be throwing a dot first play to donald par him i've seen that gamer tag on the xbox community bro that dude donald par am is op is right here mike also right flat and yeah man this is a madden 23 ultimate kickoff gameplay see right here we thread the needle over ronnie lot um this is like the day they added all those all madden players which are kind of outdated at this point you know i just see he had ronnie lot um, I think uh, my opponent's using Tony Gonzalez with tight end apprentice, but we'll wait for that when he get on offense. See right here, we're moving, we're grooving, and yeah, I'm running this Baltimore playbook. I don't know if how many of you guys know this by now, but I will be dropping an ebook on this very soon. I feel like this is a really good playbook for the type of style of play I want to run. So um, right here, we were moving, we were grooving, and we throw a dot, and it gets overthrown. Trust me, guys, uh, this is a big component of where you, like, you win and lose games. It's the red zone. And, you know, right there, we were moving, we were grooving, and we end up settling in for three after that beautiful drive. But, you know, it's all good. I haven't even seen what my guy is looking like on offense. And a little quick word of the wise, he's going to be running trips tight end. And honestly, I didn't think trips tight end was all that good this year. I still am kind of skeptical about it, but the way this guy was running it, man, you guys could take some notes. And I'll break some of this stuff down. As right here, he's going to be running curl flat early. And there goes Tony Gonzalez. I do have like a medium route slash short route KO on Ronnie Lott since he is a hybrid safety. And I thought for sure, you know, I was going to bag it up, but it just did not. Um, I kind of missed the tackle. And there you go. There's a quick glimpse of what to expect in this gameplay. That corner route. And, I, you know, I just have a bad user. Terrible sequence of events. Three play drive and he gets seven. So, you know, if this gives you any idea of what type of gameplay this is going to be, it's going to be a high scoring affair. For me, usually I want to dictate the pace, guys, in my gameplays, and that's something I recommend you guys all always do. Um, you never want to play to your opponent's pace. Right here, we're getting B-gapped, and we almost, you know, get a throw into an interception. We all know about those throw out of sack picks on the D-line. Right here, we kind of, you know, not have not the greatest uh, read. I, I accidentally touch past it, and thankfully Randy Moss goes up and gets it. We all know about those ad catches in this year. But like I was saying, you want to dictate pace. You know, whether you want to play slow and run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, or you want to play fast for someone who's not really that explosive on offense. You always want to dictate pace. And see right here, we're first mistake of the game. Carlton Davis, Buccaneer Stadium. I mean, he just yicks us. That, was, I, that looked open. I used this new freeform passing feature, and I led the ball a little too outside. And yeah, man, um, not the best look. Um, the thing is, guys, this is a ladder match. I sh really was taking this a lot, like, very seriously because top eight definitely matters for both consoles. You want that two-round buy. You want a sweeter road. Not saying you're always going to get a sweeter road in a, you know, top eight type of thing where you get your buys. And, I mean, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry, but, you know, this is all, like, MCS talk. But, you know, it, it doesn't always matter to get top eight, but you just always want it for that confidence and that ego, you know, boost. It's right here. He hits us with a running back curl route, bro. Like, this guy's a demon, bro. As you, as you can't, if you're not able to tell, he's a demon. He's running the ball. He's chewing clock. And he, we're playing on his pace right now. And that's all dictated for that first drive. Another key thing that, you know, I've wanted to state is obviously this could change for me and you. But for me, I always want to receive ball at half. And, you know, I'll tell you why. It's because, you know, sometimes I literally end up, I don't know, I end up not getting seven on the first drive. And, man, it, it definitely sucks uh, starting to play at the pace of my opponents as, you know, they end up getting sevens instead of threes. And, you know, from there I'm chasing points. I end up getting stopped. And it's just a whole bunch of, you know, you know stress, I guess you could say. Each and every Madden game in this year is stressful. It's right here, we throw a book. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda came on off the wheels right here, a little uncomposed. Thankfully, we were only down by seven, but this is such a huge drive to even get three. And like I was saying, man, as you, if you can't tell, I'm super sweating right now. Randy Moss with a great dog, even though his uh, receiver had shut down on him. Excuse me, his cornerback had shut down on him. Yeah, we had a great dog right there. I don't know how I snuck that in. It's right here, we're gonna go to corner strike again. Everything's back, so we end up throwing it away. But you, yeah, man, I was super sweating this. this honestly, by the way I was playing this, it's right here. Very questionable read. We somehow, 
We somehow catch that. Not only do we catch that, we're gonna get seven. He leaves the seams wide open. And just like that, we were looking kind of bleak. I mean, it isn't Madden 22 where, you know, if you're down seven and a half and your opponent's getting involved, cook. It's not really like that in this year's game. You could definitely get a stop. But man, that made me so much more comfortable tying the game up. And like I was saying, looking back on this, I was super sweating for no reason. I should have eased up slightly. Uh, and, you know, just, you know, really thought about the plays and what was going on. More specifically, slow the game down from, you know, that my opponent. And really take my time with the things. Um, you see right here, man, like, he, this whole half was played to his pace. That was the fastest half, like, I've ever seen. And, and here we go again, man. I, I decide to get in dollar, and he throws a book at us. There's, that's not going to be the first time where he kind of just throws it at us. I can't complain. I threw two books out of half right at him. So, you know, I'm not going to be that guy where, you know, I'm not counting my stuff. I'm only counting your, you know, fluky type plays. Because guess what, guys? It's Madden 23. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I love this game a lot. I definitely have to get better at this game. But it's way better than some of the past Maddens I've played. I like, I like this Madden a lot. Trust me, there's plenty of things they need to change. It is fluky, but guess what? That's all types of Maddens for you guys. Um, you know, he's right here shooting the ball, running the ball. Right here, we finally make a play on defense. That was that new tight end apprentice crosser. And if you ask me, I do like tight end apprentice, but I'm, honestly, I'm going to say this. Just wait until Hara Master comes out, guys. Uh, it's going to save you some AP, and it's just like we don't have all that much AP. Um, even right now as it is, I know the game just came out two weeks ago. I am struggling on AP on the offensive side of the ball. But here we go, guys. We're starting to cook. We have all full control of the game. And, man, this Ravens offense, I'm telling you, bro, it's straight dots, homie. Uh, I can't wait to produce this and upload this. I know I'm going to take my time with it. There are certain variables that you're going to need. Um, one, I will say, is definitely going to need that slot apprentice to come out anytime soon. If you don't have Cooper Cup, you know, I'm sorry, but, you know, I'm sure we'll get one very soon. A new slot apprentice like a Jerry Rice or someone. Who knows? Um, but, you know, that's one thing you're going to need. And another thing you're going to need is, you know, to be calm and composed. It's very hard to pass every play in this game. You're going to have to mix in your play calls. Right here, we throw an absolute beam after throwing a questionable read. But guess what, man? It's Madden 23, those high balls to those tall tight ends. You can really, like, risk throwing that and, you know, not afford throwing a pick or something like that. So, I mean, I'm a 17-10. You know, the, this game has been very high scoring and very high pace. But for the score right now, it's 17-10. Um, I'm going to keep you guys on a little secret. This game's going to end up in the, you know, 60, 70 number mark. Uh, we're going to start turning up and start scoring quite a bit of points in these next couple of possessions and drives. And it, it doesn't look like it. I'm still surprised at this gameplay because, you know, right here, he's running the ball. I, I don't know if he wants to make this last drive. The, my opponent, uh, Prez Do, he is a reg specialist. And we all know how those regs guys rock. They love chewing clock. They love making it final drive. They love playing the possessions. That's a big thing in regular modes, regular team modes is right here. He's going to hit me with that deep corner route outside of Prince on Randy Moss. I don't know if he had short in elite or out short out elite or whatever it may be. I'll have to take notes. Um, something I got to do much better on next time is, you know, just checking what abilities my opponent had. I kind of skimmed through it, but honestly, I, I'm going to make the habit. You know, Madden games, MCS games are so short. You know, we don't have all the time in the world. This Madden season is going to go by just like that. I'm going to start taking a moment to pause the game and looking at my abilities. It's right there, right sideline, busted coverage of Tyreek Hill, and we're not going to get caught. And you know me, I was spamming R2. I wanted to get in the end zone. I did not want to be held into you know, getting three points only. So right there, all of a sudden, we're starting to hurt, turn up the scores. I think he ran commit right there. And like I was saying, this goes to his nature. I kind of like, I'm not saying I knew he was going to run commit, but I kind of like the, the way he plays, he plays a lot of regs. He does not, no one likes to get clocked out of the game, man. Everyone wants, you know, at least one more drive to chance it, to take it to overtime, to, you know, prove their worth. Like, okay, you know, I deserve to, you know, be in this game. And see right here, he's starting to fall down. And it's kind of crazy to me. This is like a Madden 22 reincarnation. Like, we are both scoring at will. Um, I'm not going to lie. He is dotting my soul. That's right here. Another dot to Tony G. Tiny and Apprentice. He doesn't score, which is honestly... Uh, I, what I should have done is I shouldn't have called that timeout. But it doesn't matter anyways. I end up, you know, letting the clock drip down a little bit. And, you know, he does get seven. But, man, this looks like a Madden 23... Uh, Madden 22 game like so much man you can't tell me otherwise but you know here we go man all we need is three on this drive and we're gonna win this game right here corner out left sideline freeform dot Ramsey can't catch us Cooper Cup Super Bowl MVP slot apprentice can we get out of there and yes we could score hindsight I'm gonna say it hindsight I probably should have fell down right there but 
you know, we take our dots when we're get when we're given them, man, and we're gonna go and try to play some defense. Like, you know, my man's is dotting me up, but I still feel like if I get my adjustments down and my play art registered, I'm gonna be able to get a stop eventually sooner than later. I've already gotten one stop, but so is he. Um, right here, we make proper adjustments. We man up the crossing, uh, that corner route that, bro, I'm telling you guys. If you're struggling with man, it's right here. Oh my God, he just chucks it blindly up the seam. I'm telling you, bro, I'm so close to the stop. That was a good dot, but I do think it could have been knocked out. Um, if you do uh, no competitive Madden, everyone's spamming that corner route out of outside apprentice. Try it out, verse man. Thank me later. As we're getting down to the nitty gritty, man, I go to run to that side corner route and we knock it out. And this is going to be the final play of the game. At least I think. We're going to go and guard this corner route. I'm not going to let this angle route's wide open. This tight end route is not open, though. And he catches it on triple coverage. Um, looking back on it, I was so pissed. I'm like, dude, there's no way. I knew he was going to catch that. That's that new Tony Gonzalez for you. Um, but in hindsight, I should have put like a cloud there. I actually did put a cloud there on 25 depth, but it was from my linebacker. I should have put it on my safety. He would 100% been there. And that's the thing. You learn from these games. And I learned from the game. I just was a little too caught up in the moment. And, you know, I was like 6-0, 7-0 at this moment. And I didn't want to lose. No one wants to lose, bro. It's right here. I thought I was going to get there. But my man is just throwing dots now, man. He has like an insane Madden 22S stat line. It's right here. I went for the pick like a, you know, just very foolishly went for the pick. Ends up getting him first. That's another thing I got to work on is the missed and the broken tackles. That's right here. He throws this and he gets his feet in bounds. I was very shocked he got his feet in bounds on this play. I feel like everything's going right for him right here. He hits us with his crossing route again. And man, I'm telling you, bro, he was cooking up. I, I should have adjusted. I should have ran a lot more zone. And right here, he is, you know, I should have peeped that slant, man. That slant was looking kind of okay. Um, and he's going to go back to it. And we actually end up getting a sack right here. So, you know, third down and goal. He's going to hit this uh, route right here. Just poor execution. Should have just, I don't know. Should have done something better. And, of course, like I said, the slant looked kind of juicy. The pass, the first down and goal, the second down and goal. Uh, somehow we get on a third and goal from the 18 or the 15. And we give up seven, man. Stuff you can't make up. And, you know, I know it's a defensive Madden. And as right here, we actually had a touchdown left sideline. Forgive me for interrupting my own thoughts. I know it's a defensive Madden, but man, it does hurt. And you can give up those third and longs. And people are going to go for fourth down just because of the game we used to play last year. Right here, Donald Parham. Can we get out of there? We get a bur really good block from Tyreek Hill. And now it's the question at hand. Are we going to go for two? We end up going for two. I'm not going to lie. Maybe he had the tight end for a second. We're going to look. We don't have anything open. Mike Austin's going to break open right here. And we make a late, super late read. And we get picked off by Sertain. All I can say was it was a great game. I did I did get a little unlucky. But the thing is, uh, I got to keep it in hindsight. Here, here's a breakdown of the play. Maybe there's nothing open right away. I had to wait for a break, a, a bounce back. Or I could have taken off with... Aaron Rodgers see right here I mean I start to get scared once he clicks R3 and sends the spy as he does right there I'm thinking okay he's gonna come in free I actually have really good pocket and we throw a book that's all I could say man we throw a book uh, I, I mean the guy was X factored up we had to just chuck it away and pray he caught it bro you know how those X factors work but like I said we did get a little unlucky but the thing is watching that game back I got luck pretty lucky before half to even be in that position so good game to you know Prez Dio um definitely on the rise uh, best luck of to him in this Madden 23 season and man that was actually a really fun game let me know if you guys enjoy that gameplay and I got more in store coming soon till next time guys stay on the lookout for that Ravens ebook if you did like this video smash that like button comment what you guys want to see next and yeah I'll be back on twitch twitch.tv back fast but I'm back on the stream grind, man. I can't wait to share some dots with you, share some defense with you. See you guys there.